well hello and welcome everyone to the channel again it's Rimmel's tube i am Rimmel, and today i'm gonna show you how you can host your discord bot if it's a java bot it's coded in java so if it's coded in java you can host it in this method exactly this is the right video for you so keep watching okay Now before this video starts go ahead and click that subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss another video. So basically uh, you need to have a discard bot and it, uh, the coding of the bot should be in Java. So the hosting method works. Now if it's on another uh, language I pretty much don't know about it because I use the Java coding. Um, I also use the discord bot maker so hats off to them because I can make my own discord bot without knowing everything about coding just a little bit what I learned from uh, there so let's get on to the steps uh, basically I have my bot uh, which is offline right now so I need to host my bot what I need to do for that is basically uh, I have my bot files and I do need to upload them on a cloud storage and I'm gonna use github because it works perfectly fine for this method so going over to github you need to do is github.com github.com it's that simple go to github.com and I am already there so uh, you need to create an account I already have my account so after creating your account make sure you verify it from um, your email and uh, every account should be verified so after verifying it and logging into your uh, account in github you'll see this uh, drop down menu from your account icon then click on your repositories going over to your repositories if you are totally new to github you will have no repositories at all but i have a few so after that uh, going over to this page if you have any repository if you don't you will always have this new create repository button uh, it doesn't it wouldn't affect if you're a new user or an old one so click on new and name it whatever you want literally it doesn't matter okay <laughs> so after that you can set up a description it's optional it, you doesn't really need to it's up to you if you want to go ahead and do that so then the public and private options are pretty much self-explanatory because if you want your bot files to be accessed by other people over github you can make it public like if you want people to have your bot file so they can copy it and make their own file however i don't personally like it so i'm gonna make it private so no one can access my bot files and then going over to the third option which is initialize this repository with the readme file so make sure you click that on uh, because we'll, we're gonna need it then create repository and uh, you should have your pretty pretty repository with the readme.md file after that you will see this create new file option click on that and we need to create a file named procfile proc file so after that get on to this edit new file option then type in worker uh, colon space node space bot dot j uh, js okay bot dot js that's all you need to do after that scroll down you can uh, like add some description of this commit file however you don't really need to it's optional so leave it be and click on commit new file <coughs> I have a bad cold uh, oversee it please so uh, let's move on to the other options uh, now you can upload all your bot files over to this server make sure you have your mods file Especially if you are using the discord bot maker like me and you have all these files I'll show you which you need to upload and which you need not to upload. Okay, so um, Going over to actions there are like 
add tons of files inside it which is which the number is 212 you can see so one thing about uploading files over to github you can't really upload more than a hundred files inside it or the github should crash that's how it works so make sure you select 99 files at a time and upload them so you can just um uh, for uploading this actions file it's only for the like discord bot maker whoever is using that so create a new folder somewhere in your pc named exactly the same as actions then uh, upload just the folder inside here uh, here let me show you okay so i'll create a new folder inside uh, on my uh, desktop and upload the actions folder um right inside that web so the upload page should look something like this is it uploaded commit changes i wonder if it's uploaded okay it's not <laughs> uploaded let's select the folder again uh there we go still not uploaded uh wait a sec we're having some technical difficulties so i think it should have some files inside it so let's just do this uh did i just miss the files okay uh why does it take like why does it lag <laughs> i don't know so the f two files are inside it so let's just upload that <coughs> okay it only catches the files okay so two files are uploaded you commit changes Now you can see my actions folder if I go inside it, if it has the two files inside it. So the actions are basically the mods if you're using uh, Discord Bot Maker, you know it. So what you need to do is select 99 files at a time, put it inside your actions folder and upload it at a time. So after that commit changes and it should be like that. Then uh, go inside that new actions folder that you created from your desktop and then delete the files inside then go to the uh, main actions folder that we cannot copy because there are too many files inside it now the 99 files you have selected before deselect them and select the other files that were inside it and make sure it's under 99 so you don't crash while uploading them so that's pretty much how you do it after that you have alternative mods it doesn't have nine, uh, more than a 99 files of course then the data file also does not have that many folders so you don't have to worry about that that much so select the data file font file bot which is a javascript file and package.json you make sure you upload these four folders inside your uh, repository then going over to that folder again you see the node modules file if you're using a uh, node i mean if you're using java coding you of course are using node so going over to the node modules folder you can see a folder named extend upload that as well because it's gonna need uh, like the bots gonna need it if it wants to work so yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's all the files you need to upload then uh I actually don't need this repository anymore because uh, I'm not gonna work with it I already have my all my bot files uploaded on another repository so I'll go ahead and delete this, rep this one whatever you want so I'll delete this one and I have my Remels tube uh, repository right down here and you can see that I have alternative mods actions data font JS uh, file um, you pretty much don't need the JS file it's like worthless but if uh, like um, uh, yeah you don't really need it I don't think it has uh, many of that files have However, the JS files uh, folder should be inside your Discord bot maker. If you're not using Discord bot maker, you will not need it because I have tried 
running the bot without it and it runs pretty much fine. And then you can see we have extend proc file, readme, bot.js, package.json. Like all the files I have told you to upload and that's it. So we're done with uh, our github and we can close it out. Then we'll go over to Heroku. H-E-R-O-K-U. I, I used to like misspell it a tons of times. <laughs> I used to always write it like H-E-R-U-K-O. Whatever. Never mind. So going over to Heroku.com. Uh, you need to of course create an account there. So after creating your account inside Heroku, um, you will see uh, like account settings and stuff here. You don't really need to go there. Never mind. So you'll see these uh, more options button right beside your accounts logo. Click on that. Click on dashboard, and it should take you to your dashboard where you should have like uh, all your new applications and stuff. If you don't have any applications, you'll just find this new application option where you would click and you can create a new app. So click on create a new app. <coughs> After that, you will be able to select the application name. So type in your application name. For me, I'm gonna type in Remels Cube uh, Bot Backup. So you need to check if the name is available. So the name is available. We can go ahead with that create app and uh, the app should be created there we go now we're directly redirected to the deploy page and you can see that we have heroku get and github then container registry and you know what do we need to select we need to select github <coughs> so selecting github you'll find uh the option to connect your repositories over to your heroku account so, <coughs> I pretty much have my GitHub account connected over to my Heroku account. So, <coughs> whenever you first click on GitHub, you'll uh, need to connect your GitHub account to your uh, Heroku account. So, I have already done that. Uh, that's why it doesn't show me that I have to connect it anymore. However, after connecting it, you will have the search for a repository option. So, don't panic right there. I've told you what you need to do. So, uh, uh, the many GitHub accounts you have connected, it will show all of them. Select the one you want, like you have the bot files on. So, after that, going over to uh, this repository name, I will type in Remels uh, Cube, so uh, or just Remels, so it finds the file. Then click on Search, and it has my Remels Cube, like the bot project uh, repository I am supposed to connect it with this uh, new application in Heroku so click on connect and there you go our uh, like host is connected to all the bot files now we just need to deploy uh, like enable automatic deploy so it always keeps up deploying the bot whenever it needs to by deploying it means that, like making the bot online okay so uh, the enable uh, the automatic deploys are enabled so it will be deploying the bot uh, whenever it's about to go offline and for the first time we need to deploy it ourselves so click on deploy branch and it will take a bit much of a like professional coding type stuff you don't really need to uh, concentrate on that it's gonna do its thing and uh, in like five seconds it should be hosted build success compressing and uh, we will have launching remote tube there we go our bot is hosted deployed to heroku okay so after that scroll upside and you uh, like if we go to discord right now uh in a few seconds the bot should be online but we will not be able to like use any of the commands to use the commands we need to go to resources beside the deploy menu go to the resources 
and uh, refresh the page then you would be able to see two plugins already added inside your like um, application so you have web npm start worker node.js which we created the proc file for okay so uh, going over to the first first option which is web npm start click on edit and turn it off you don't need it and going over to the second option which is your worker bot and nodebot.js going uh, turn it on click on confirm and your bot should be online by now it takes a little bit of time I'll restart my discord and you already saw that it the bot was online for a fraction of time however I restarted my discord it should be up by now there we go we have our bot online now now if I type in uh, the command for my bot is our help so if I type in our help you can see that my bot is working and it sent me the help section or help center like it respond to my command okay so uh, we can pretty much uh, have anything going on here so if I clicked on RAV it shows my avatar and stuff I coded some cool commands and I'm gonna continue building that so you know pretty much how you host your discord bot from github and heroku so go ahead and enjoy your bot and uh, let's meet you in the next video if we do anything or not <coughs> I'm just kidding okay I'm gonna continue my youtube career and continue uploading videos so <coughs> one more thing if you still have any kind of problem, make sure you comment on the comment section and I'll try my best to help you out. And uh, let's uh, uh, see if we can make more videos like so or not. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, click on that thumbs up button and show some support by subscribing to the channel. Uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Yeah, that should be it.